Welcome back to Bella Blue's Lunches. If you're new, welcome. welcome. I am just throwing in a paper a cupcake liner down there. And we are going to make Bella's lunch. Are we so excited for this? Okay, I am. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I am this excited, but I am. Look at these little Triscuits. So uh, these are the Triscuit minis. And I am just going to throw some down in here for her. Uh, that's kind of a lot. Right here, I'm just going to kind of lay out some pepperoni right up at the top. And we're going to kind of do a little row of pepperoni. And then I have some cheese that we're going to cut up here in a second. And I'm going to just stick the cheese right there. I have my three little pieces of cheese cut out. I'm just going to cut the little flower shape. Cute, right? Watermelon. Okay, and then I have some snap peas that I'm going to throw up here for her. And I think in the center, I'm just going to throw in some grapes. Uh, this is going to be her lunch. We had a really big breakfast, and so I think this is going to satisfy her for lunch. Plus, this cheese is like super thick. So, <laughs> anyway, this is going to be her little snack lunch today. She is getting some Triscuits, cheese, and pepperoni, watermelon, and grapes, and then some snap peas back there. So, let's decorate it really quick. I just added some eyeballs today. <laughs> they look kind of goofy. But anyway, this is going to be Bella's lunch today. We'll see what she eats. All right, Bella, how'd you do? I think I'm going to put it good. Oh, sorry. I don't know. It's because it's like made weird. Uh, good job. People call this. The, never mind. I'm not going to say it. Uh, <laughs> uh, good job, Bella. Thanks. I was going to say people call this a prison tray. They think it looks like the trays you'd get if you were in jail. Can I keep flipping this? <laughs> that is cute. Look, um, look at that little planet. All those criminals eating so fancy. Okay, anyway, so you did a pretty good job. You know you can eat these. Yeah. You just didn't want to. I sometimes don't like eating the yeah. outsides too. Okay, that's fine. Uh, good job. Was it enough? Yes. Okay. We had a really big breakfast. Uh, breakfast yep. And then we're going to be eating dinner here uh, kind of early tonight. So, anyway, I just wanted... Uh, get a little bit of food in you, a little bit of fruits and vegetables, so that hopefully you're not asking for a million snacks in the <laughs> like next couple do. hours. Yep. All right. Good job, Bella. Hey, guys. Are you ready to pack another lunch? Today, we're going to do chicken salad, and I like to put in my chicken salad water chestnuts, so I opened up that, and then I also have a can of chicken. This is the easiest uh, chicken salad that you can make, especially if you don't have time to cook up a chicken breast or buy a rotisserie. Uh, grab a can of chicken. Is this even turning? Yep, there we go. I'm going to drain these quick and I will be right back. So I have them drained. So I'm just going to take my chicken and throw it right into my bowl. And then for the water chestnuts, give them just a really rough chop. It does not even have to be perfect at all. Some people add uh, celery to their chicken salad to give it a little bit of a crunch. I don't like celery really in a lot of things. So I don't use a lot of celery when I'm cooking. I will use water chestnuts kind of to replace that crunch. So here we go. I add about one tablespoon of mayo, one teaspoon of ranch, and this we can always add more if we need more. And then I add some paprika and some dill weed. And if I had diced onion, I would throw in a little bit of diced onion into it. In fact, later tonight, I will be using some onion, so whatever's left over, I'm going to dice it up, and then I will throw it into this salad. We like a lot of dill, so I'll usually top it off with a little bit more dill. But that is how simple the salad is. So anyway, let's get to packing Bella's lunch, and we will throw this chicken salad in there. 
Okay, so let's pack her lunch. We are going to throw in this little liner and I'm going to put in some crackers. So I'm gonna throw the crackers kind of behind her because she's gonna eat her chicken salad with crackers right here. Just for a little extra decoration, make it look fancy today. Little extra dill weed up there. Little extra paprika. Yes, doesn't that look fun? Okay, okay, calm down, Amy. Let's throw in a couple grapes. Give her three little grapes, that's all that fits, that's funny. We'll do some carrots. And just to give it a little bit of a mix, we'll do some peas in there too. What have you guys been doing to keep busy? I swear, we are having the largest struggles uh, staying busy. <laughs> Anybody else feel me on this? It's hard. Um, I'm gonna give her some bananas. I'm trying to get creative on things to do. Like right now she's doing Legos, which is fine, but she's gonna get sick of them. Uh, what? I'm never gonna get sick of Legos. You won't? Never. Okay. I need an egg for one in my life. Okay. <laughs> well, just going off of past experiences, uh, Legos only last for so long. I threw back here some dehydrated bananas and dehydrated pineapple that I just used my uh, Kasori dehydrator. I'm sure I have it linked somewhere in my playlists. Why isn't this focused? There we go. Um, but I just used that to dehydrate the two of those foods. I think I'm going to give her some vanilla wafers today. Yum. Vanilla wafers. There we go. This is a fun lunch. That's good. That's perfect. Okay, so let's decorate this guy up. Cute. Okay, here's her lunch today. She is getting chicken salad with crackers, some vanilla wafers, peas and carrots, some grapes, and then some dehydrated bananas and dehydrated uh, pineapple. Let me tell you, if you guys have never had either, these are our two favorite dehydrated fruits because they are so sweet and they taste like candy. This one is like, chew they're both really chewy, but this one is so chewy. So if you're looking for that, um, try dehydrating them. They're so good. Anyway, here is Bella's lunch. We'll see what she eats. All right, lunch with Bella's, how would I do? <laughs> All right, good job. That was delicious chicken salad, huh? It was. Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, good job, Bella. Hey guys, all right. She would like to eat again today, so I'm packing her another lunch. Anybody else feel like all they do all summer long is prepare food? <laughs> Wait, that's maybe because, actually, I don't know. Because in winter, we don't usually do that. <laughs> no, in the winter, I don't know what the difference is. Maybe it's just because she's here and she, like, gets her snacks <laughs> here. But I swear. Or maybe it's because, like, the sun makes me hungry. Maybe, I have no idea, but okay. So I have uh, the chicken salad that I had used the other day for her crackers. I am going to, again, put some more dill. I just pulled this out again, because we just love extra dill. So you, you, that's not for decoration. That's actually just for, I don't know, flavor. Um, and then I'm gonna add some more paprika. Top this, and I am going to cut it like old school, you know, like a rectangle. So I'm gonna fit it up here, I think. So to cut it, I'm going to probably cut it here. Let's see if it fits. It does, okay, perfect. Oh my gosh, I just can't stop patting it. Packing her some of the snack mix. This is a Cheez-It snack mix. It's one of our favorite little snack mixes to buy. I'm thinking we're gonna stick with the peas and I'm going to pack her some more of these peas up here. Oh my gosh, they're just so good. Okay, and then I'm gonna stick some, I guess just maybe one piece of watermelon fits. I'm not closing up her box, so maybe I could throw in two. There we go. That's good. 
maybe I'll just put some carrots down here. Can I fit three? So here's her lunch. Chicken salad sandwich uh, from that chicken salad we had made yesterday. And then some peas, carrots, watermelon, and that cheese it snack mix. And if you buy the fruits and vegetables, you can use those throughout the week in the lunches. Just kind of keep them in the drawer in the back where she's not going to find them. Or where he's not going to find them. Depending on what type of child you have, then it's easier to find them. Whatever, Bella. Otherwise, what they do is they just eat it all and you have nothing to give them in their lunch. And you got something to say? Yeah, there's... What? Um, Looks like she's going to come fight me. Um, what? But now you just said you're going to put them in the back, so now I'm going to go in the back. Well, um, that's not where I keep mine. I'm telling them to keep theirs there. Yeah. In case they want to make sure they have stuff for their lunches. <laughs> Gosh, can't give out any secrets. Here's her lunch. We'll see what she eats. Okay, before we do the big reveal, I feel like I need to make an announcement because somebody, uh, or maybe this is your first video, or maybe you missed the video, but we're only doing this reveal part, like where we open up the lunch for you. I completely know pretty much what she, well, actually today I don't know. Some days I know, some days I don't. It depends on if she brings it to me closed, but she's eating these at home. You guys, we've been not going to school for a few months, and then it's now summer, so she still eats. She eats every every day. Uh, I'm sure you eat every day, too, so I am just sharing with you some of the lunches. I make them in this bento-style container because it's the exact same as if I was to use a plate in a bowl, so it's the same dishes, not being extra fancy or doing anything else extra special. I just wanted to kind of explain that to you because I get comments on every single video asking me why I make her lunches. So the easy answer, because she likes to eat lunch. <laughs> That's all there is to it. She likes to eat lunch. Do you? I do. <laughs> anyway, this part, this extra part of me saying, okay, Bella, what'd you eat in opening this? This is extra. This is only for the camera. Would we do this in real life if I wasn't filming it? No. <laughs> Let's be honest. No, I would not. Uh, this is 100% for you. So, here we go. Bella. How did I do? No, how do we say it? No, I forgot whatever you were supposed to say. Bella, how did you do? Nope. Okay, Bella. Oh, we're not, now we're not in focus. Focus me. There we go. Focus. All right, Bella. How'd you do? How'd you do? <laughs> All right. And, wow. Okay. You didn't want to eat that one little last bite? I didn't like that quest. Oh, <laughs> stop. Okay. And it looks like you ate some of your peas whole, and some of them you just ate the peas on the inside? Yeah. All right. <laughs> looks kind of festive in there. Like, it is. Jeez, what was that? It was pink. Oh, she tipped over my tripod. <laughs> Scared me. It landed on our chips. our chips. We bought like a big bag of chips and I don't know where to store them. So <laughs> anyway, that's what happened there. Uh, anyway, I was saying this looks like bamboo and pandas. Anyway, this is a very long what did you eat part. So here it is. Oh, thank you for watching. Oh, no, don't go away. We'll do one more. Um, I'll do a lunch tomorrow because I only did, I think I only did three a couple weeks ago and I only did three so far this week. So I will do one on Friday. I've been taking Fridays off. Tomorrow I will show you her lunch. Okay. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye. And I'm not upset if you ask me why I'm packing her lunches or making them in here. I want to be clear. I'm not upset. I think it's funny. And that's just my answer. Anyway, we'll see you. We'll see you in a second for tomorrow's lunch. All right, on to Friday's lunch. She is getting an uncrustable. Yes, this is a voiceover. The audio was a little messed up, so I thought I would just do a voiceover on top of the entire lunch. So here we go. I'm just gonna walk you through what I did. I put some peanut butter in the center of the bread, and then used a cup to cut out my circle. So this is the easiest way to make an uncrustable because you, chances are you have a cup at your house. Now my cup was a little bit too big for the slice of bread that I was using. So my circle is a little janky, but <laughs> 
it's fine. I ended up putting a inverted cupcake liner or a flattened cupcake liner on the bottom there and then threw in some goldfish crackers, some peas and carrots, took another cupcake liner, put it inside out and added some more of those delicious banana chips. Seriously, those are like a dessert. Did another cupcake liner, added some grapes, some really cute decorations, and here is her lunch. She's getting a peanut butter Uncrustable, some goldfish crackers, grapes, banana chips, peas, and carrots. So we will see what she eats. All right, Bella, how'd you do? Nice job. That looked like a black olive, didn't it? It's oh, yeah. Okay, good job. Was that a good lunch? Yeah. All right. Well, that is it for our lunches this week, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe if you have not yet. Like the video if you liked it. We will see you in our next video. Bye.